Hello Marie Claire Korea, I'm Sandra Choi, Creative Director of Jimmy Choo. For the first time to wear a pair of Jimmy Choo's, my advice to be climb the height. So you start off from wearing something that is a bit more easy to manage. Something like this would be perfect just because it's a little lift. I mean, nowadays I think everybody wears a lot of trainers and flats and being a bit more casual. But to build the height, that would be my advice to actually go gradually. I always think that, you know, once you get to know your shoes, you need to forget about it. Then you can really have a good time. So for me, espadrilles, strappy sandals, easy raffia materials, that will be always my choice. The shoes for weddings, for a little bit of fantasy and beauty and being exceptional, I think these are great. So, I mean, Hayley Bieber got married in these and we made her a special pair, but the fact that you draw attention to your shoes because I guess if you go for something like that, you love your shoes. So this is something that is a bit more dramatic, beautiful, extraordinary, but I think it kind of gives you that playfulness where a bride wants to feel special on the day. So for my personal choice, heels and sneakers, both because I go to work in my sneakers, I run around the studio in my sneakers, and then occasionally when I have an event or occasion, I will put on my heels. And putting on a pair of heels, I mean, if you've tried a pair of heels, it gives you that lift and that extra power. So it gears you up to do whatever that you want to do, and you feel a bit more special. So I'm gonna cheat, and I can do both, but really, I wear boots every day. I think the attraction of heels is that extra lift. And I think also, I mean, I talked about how you need to wear the shoes rather than the shoes wearing you. I think having that navigation and ultimately you overcome this height, this balance situation, um, the heels give you this empowerment. I feel like when you wear heels, it gives you that lift. You can achieve a lot and you're set up. and. Well, I was told that when you wear Jimmy Choo heels, a success always comes. And the fact that we have dressed many red carpet moments, many of them were winners of, with whatever they're doing. And I think that heels really empower someone. I think in the last 27 years, the most memorable project for me I'm going to be really lame, it's Jimmy Choo. The fact that we started off as, idea, we had ideas of designing some beautiful shoes, and at the time, this is like, I'm talking about 1996. So shoes, designer, and being based in London, they're, they're only a handful. And because I was trained by Mr. Choo himself, so I know how to make shoes, and the fact that from that moment to now, where we are building our brand into a lifestyle brand, and today we cover perfume, sunglasses, jewellery, bags, men's, trainers. I mean, it's, it's probably one of my biggest projects of life. And the fact that it provided um, so many opportunities for my personal growth, um, that is probably <laughs> A very kind of silly answer, but that is the best project that I've ever had. When it comes to collaborations, which there are plenty, I mean, every brand is doing collaborations, but in my opinion, I think the synergy is everything. When you want to learn from one another, respect one another's DNA, and try not to overcome with one aesthetic over the other and meet in the middle and get the best out of both brands and that to me is, is, is the perfect um, deliverable for any collaboration project. And because I am curious about making things 
And this is where I always question that if someone else can make it better, we should always be open and learn. And likewise, you know, the other brands that come to us always say to us that you made beautiful shoes and you're an expert in this area. And sometimes it could be a bag and sometimes it could be um, uh, other items. And it's just a meeting ground and to have that space to able to kind of learn and experiment. That to me is probably the, the key essence of any collaboration. The latest design inspiration, I would say, I think is some, um, there's a set, the sensibility of wanting to do something, it's a feeling. I always start a collection by having a feeling. Um, at the moment there are shoes in our store that has hearts in them. And for that collection, let's just give you an example. I wanted to make sure that the feeling of love is around. The, the, the feeling of treasuring something needs to be kind of like entwined into the collection. And I start, always start with a feeling and then it kind of like grow into maybe it's a picture, maybe it's a piece of jewelry that I found. And you know, the, the, the evolution of all of those different pieces that comes together, that creates a collection. And those are part of my inspiration. I think the major difference is we have choices. I think everybody has choices. And people who want to seek identities hasn't changed. I think mean, I think over the years, whether you talk about the 20s, the 40s, the 60s, you know, there are major moments of time when people want to have and to find their own identity. But today there are all different type of freedom that you can actually pick and choose. Choices are out there. And for me, it's not just so kind of strictly certain bracket of fashion trend. Street trends and high fashion trend can bash together. Who am I to actually ever imagine that our trainer selves around the world is actually the highest compared to the heels? So anything is possible. And the difference is today, I think the openness is there and people have information. So, and that really changed the landscape of how we communicate fashion, how we actually play with fashion. And to me, the world is one world. There's, there's not so much of separation anymore. I think there are choices if you find them, if you want to find them. And I just think that always remember that you can. And if there's a way, there's a will, if there's a will, there's always a way. And that would be my motto. I mean, I've got two young girls who are 13 and nine. And I like to think that they are going to take life as they are. I want them to try everything. Um, and then they can actually decide whether it's for them or not. And to just have that inner voice to tell yourself if you want it, find a way that find a way that to get to, get there. I mean, no matter how, and obviously, I mean, all circumstances are very different. But if you want, there's always a way. <laughs>